Midland League Division 2 and we've got Noel at home to Fairfield Villa. Noel in red of course, the Robins and uh, Fairfield not wearing Villa colours but uh, all blue and this should be a keen contest on a very bright afternoon. November, you would never believe it. Noel FC against Fairfield Villa. So with Reuben Wilson doing some uh, shirt pulling and some last minute bits of exercise, the game starts here in Knoll. And already the uh, visitors giving away a free kick for handball. Just working the ball on that uh, left hand side, but Scott Smith hammering the ball into the trees. That's probably gone into the road actually. A chance here for the visitors. It slipped across the face of goal, there's still a chance. Left foot, and that is a really good save. Back out it comes. And the ball falls for the Hutton goalkeeper, Johnson. Really good save by him, but a good chance for the uh, visitors. Involving Alfie Bloomer there and Connor Collins. Again, good work by the visitors. The ball comes across goal, and it's hit into the net. And it's 1-0 to Fairfield Villa, their second chance of the game. And uh, although the goalkeeper got a touch on the right side cross, the ball was lashed in at the far post. Home side need to get back into this game, but Blakemore knocks that ball on towards Bloomer, but he's not going to reach it that time. And uh, home goalkeeper Johnson, who's been under a little bit of pressure in these opening five minutes, this time collects without any problem at all. One nil then, still to Fairfield Villa. Oh, good place for a free kick, left-footed player. In comes the shot; it drops just too late. The uh, best of uh, kicks by the visiting keeper. And uh, the visitors struggling to get that away. In fact, they haven't yet. The ball is flipped forward towards Bridges. Clipping the ball to his winger. There's the low shot. It must be knocked in by Pitt. And it is. There was a touch on it by the goalkeeper, but uh, it was a good pass by Bridges, which uh, really created the goal. side throw then for the visitors and it's uh, looking like it's going to be a long one. It goes towards Smith and he gets the head on, nodded clear, Blakemore can't get onto it, that's a good piece of defending by Powell. So Ludlow will take this corner, a little bit of pressure now by the, the visitors from Worcestershire. Very high ball this time, goalkeeper gets a touch on it. Scott Smith will retrieve it, looking for some kind of support. Blakemore's the one who's running for him, and a little back heel, and that's well played by Smith. Great for a centre half. In comes the ball, but the goalkeeper dives to catch it. Now the home side managing to uh, get a little bit of possession here. They've uh, found it difficult at times to get the ball forward. That's a really good ball. Now Bridges is going to get onto it as well. Turns inside the defender, tries the shot, it takes a deflection, and there's a really fine finish. And it's the skipper who's got it. It just drops into the middle of the box, and Rook absolutely lashes it in. 2-1 to the hosts. Noel, with the throw on the right-hand side, winning another one. 
and uh, that was a strange decision from this position it looked like Bridges was coming back from an offside position and uh, took possession of the ball and the linesman maybe the sun was in his eyes and uh, he didn't realise uh, who the player was that was uh, getting towards the ball whatever it's a throw in on the right hand side and it's taken long by the home side Pitt nearly got in a shot but Oakley did and uh, it was just a little bit too far high Johnson's kick up go the heads, O'Byrne wins it, flicked off by Collins to Ludlow. Out to the left-hand side and Bloomer. Needs some support, Molesworth giving it to him, but his cross comes to the edge of the penalty area. McEwen gets a touch on it. Now then, in comes the cross. Oh, and it bounces, there's got to be a header, and it's nodded against the outside of the upright. And it's a goal kick. Good flick on that was by Pitt. Back goes the header. Rook is in there, the goalkeeper's missed it. Rook must have a chance, hits it low, 3-1. And that's a defensive mistake and the skipper's made Villa pay. Wow. Goddard takes the uh, goal kick short towards Smith, who's forced to play it back to him. Out to Gifford. Smith again. Going across the uh, back line here. Bit of a change lineup with Wilson now on that left hand side. Plays it to McEwen. A lot of space for Gifford on this right hand side, but. Again, the uh, visitors can't move the ball. And they've given it away. Rook keeping it in as the referee brings the first half to an end. Noel 3, Fairfield Villa 1. So Louis Bridges uh, starts the second half for Noel. 3 1 ahead, of course. And uh, their goalkeeper now has the sun very firmly in his eyes. Long ball straight away down the line towards Bridges and uh, Pitt chases it but uh, it's a throw to the Robins. Here's the uh, early second half throw then for uh, Noll. Not taken long. Right foot cross comes in and uh, Rook just couldn't quite reach it. Now the referee is not happy with the uh, taking of the free kick by Fairfield and uh, Ludlow will have to do it all again. Two goals they need to regain parity here at Knoll. Ludlow looks like he's clipping that through inside left. There's a little header inside. There's a great save. There's a chance for Collins. Goalkeeper's injured and it's a throw to Villa. Wiseman has his flag in the air. Let's see what uh, happens from this. And the ball forced to Bridges. Low left foot shot just wide of the right hand upright. That was a sudden shock as uh, Noel broke forward. So Ludlow with the free kick now for Fairfield. They desperately need a goal to get back into this game. And it comes. There's the run. It's headed clear by Seeley. A volleyed effort from just outside the penalty area. And that was by Alfie Bloomer, but it was just off target. There's a chance for the home side again, and that ball has just clipped the crossbar from Rook. Ludlow, and his pass is uh, intercepted. It's Rook again, going for his hat-trick, and he's hit that just over the bar as well. That could have been game out of sight. Bloomer picking up the ball with Elsa at his back and uh, Rook clips the ball against Bridges. That was unfortunate for the home side but fortuitous for Fairfield. Slipping the ball out towards the right hand side. McEwen was involved. Collins gets it back to Wilson. And the visitors clip the ball through. There's Ludlow. Good chance for him. 
and a very fine save by the home keeper. Home side struggling to get it away and they've done so but not too far. Wilson's pass forcing Gifford to go back. O'Byrne, now then, will he clip this ball towards the edge of the penalty area? Yes, he will, but undangerously. So, throw right side and uh, might just be a long one. But uh, else, not really rushing to take it. Bridges, the man at the near post here, but he's not going to reach it. He's headed into the net. Well, 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 that was such an easy goal. And I think it might just be Pitt again. 4-1. Side throw then for Fairfield and Bloomer will take this long. Just a couple of people, three people now inside the area. Reuben Wilson adding to those numbers. In it comes. There's a good header by Collins but picked up at the near post by the goalkeeper. So as Hill takes the field, number 15 for Villa. Bridges prepares to take this free kick. Probably 23 yards or so, 24 yards. Inside left position, good for a right-footed player. Hits it, and that's a good save by the goalkeeper. Here's the corner then. Left side for Noel. Very, very high. Ruck heads it inside, and goodness me, it's off the goalkeeper and in. And that's the skipper's hat-trick. It's 5-1. Johnson forced right down towards his corner flag to take this free kick. Still struggling, of course, with his nose injury. Little flicked header by Ludlow there, knocked back by Collins. But it's a throw to the hosts, and Rook makes the run, flicks it inside, chance for Pitt, and he's tripped, and I think it's a penalty. So, the penalty after Pitt has been tripped, Rook looks like he's going to go for his fourth goal of this game. Left foot on the roof of the net, 6-1. So the free kick now for Bloomer to take. The 6 1's a huge deficit. Chance for Ludlow, lifted over the bar though. Right side throw for the hosts. Shepard trying to uh, turn the ball, but McEwen wins the ball back. Molesworth switches it right to Wilson. Bloomer picks it up out on that right touch line. He'll cut inside. Oh, and he dives in there a little bit. Ewan out to the right-hand side. Nice play. In comes the cross. That's dropped just wide of the left-hand upright. Oh, the ball is won again by 11 man. Villa, chance for Blakemore. And he misses his kick. Back to the substitute. Tipped away by the goalkeeper. Ludlow with the uh, left side corner now for Fairfield. Strong finish by them. About five minutes left. Good header down and tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper again. And that was the other substitute, Doug Moore. So second corner in succession. And this time headed away by Fox as far as Wilson. In comes the left foot cross and lifted over the bar by the number 16. And I think that's Smith. Ball picked up on the uh, defensive right-hand side, but unfortunately the, uh, the ball 
escapes Gifford for a moment or two. His pass finds Smith. And does well to get it out to Ludlow. Bit of purpose by the visitors at the moment. And uh, Hill battling hard against Ingram. And winning it. Back it comes to Blakemore. Back heels it. Hill gets it inside. Another back heel. Ludlow sets it up for Wilson. Out it goes to the right and Collins. Square to Hill. Low shot. Slips over as he takes it. And still, the visitors have it, but they've given it away to Healy. Interesting uh, passage of play there. Reese goes left and a chance for the... Oh, but that's offside. Wilson is going to leave this free kick to Ludlow. The left foot will swing it in, of course, and uh, moment left in this game. 6-1 still to Noll FC. High ball, nobody anywhere near that. And Johnson has a long time, as much time as he wants to clear it away, and clear it away he does. He volleys it through, and Pitt is chasing through, and Pitt has lobbed the ball in, and that is his hat-trick. The assist by Johnson, and it's seven. Goodness me, what a scoreline. So uh, that final goal by Pitt, making it seven for Noel, ends the game. And Fairfield Villa must be wondering exactly what has happened to them today. Noel FC seven, Fairfield Villa one.